Today we're exploring one of Manhattan's newest marketplaces, the Tin Building by French restaurateur John George. It's located in Manhattan's South Street Seaport neighborhood, a neighborhood that's undergone significant changes over the past few years. We're excited for you to join us on our adventure today. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video. The Tin Building actually isn't even officially open yet as of the time of this recording. They're doing a preview prior to their fall 2022 grand opening. We were here to check out that preview, so stay tuned because this French marketplace will make you feel like a bon vivant in Paris. We also checked out Pier 17 while we waited for the marketplace to open. There's Momofuku, which opened up recently, David Chang's acclaimed restaurant. There's also a concert and venue space at the top of this pier. This is Pier 17, folks, and just wait. Here comes my favorite part of Pier 17, the views of the Brooklyn Bridge. Unbelievable from this spot. And guess what? It's free. You can just come here, bring a book, just bring yourself. I don't even care. Just come here, put your feet up, relax, and soak in these views. Even better, get yourself a Heineken and kick back, open it up, take a few sips, look at the Brooklyn Bridge, bring in some sun, and just like this guy, he's doing it. He's doing it right. And this is just one of the best places in Manhattan to really relax. It's not all that fast pace and craziness. It's right on the East River. It's beautiful. Bring your lunch. But I know, I know. I promised you a marketplace, a French one. Welcome to the Tin Building by Jean Georges with a patisserie, a boulangerie, amazing seafood, oysters. There's a bar here that you can order cocktails. These guys are ready to serve. And incredible deli. There's a pasta station. This place has so much going on. I felt like I was in Italy, but the French version. Look at this produce, so colorful. It doesn't look like your typical American produce, that's for sure. All right, so we went to the creperie, Sebastian and I. Look at that artistry. And if you don't fancy anything I've shown you yet, there are plenty of restaurants within the tin building that you can dine at but let's get back to the crepes. Sebastian was soaking it all in. Sebastian and I decided to go the sweet and the savory route. There's our Nutella crepe being made right now. We also got a broccoli and cheddar crepe. There's the Nutella with whipped cream and the broccoli and cheddar. All right, here we are, eating with Sebastian and Daddy, part one. We finally have agreed to eat a little bit of this broccoli and cheddar crepe, although there was some resistance. So we'll see if he keeps going. What's going on, Sebastian? So we've lost Sebastian, but uh... Alright, we relocated outside to where the pigeons are. Sebastian is still upset. What are your thoughts, Sebastian? Good? I think the savory crepes are delicious. Sebastian seems to have finally calmed down. He's enjoying them. Here you go, bud. Try some more. Nice. Nice. Ooh, nice and savory. This is also a nice spot where Sebastian can watch all the trucks drive by and point to them. Truck! Truck! You just caught him in real time. We finally calmed down and we're enjoying our crepes now. So I've got to say the crepes with the buckwheat wrappings are delicious. Uh, also with cheddar, broccoli, there's sprouts in here. Seems pretty nutritious even though 
it's a crepe. So the savory options, definitely good. Right Sebastian? Sebastian agrees. Delicious. For us, Sebastian would say, delicious. Sebastian's already started on the sweets. Ooh, look at that sweet one. All right, Sebastian, here you go. Get in there, man. Now for the sweet crepes, they give you a knife and fork here, but honestly, just dig in. Delicious. All right, Sebastian, big question. Which, which crepe was your favorite? Oh, the cement mixer is actually Sebastian's favorite. Trucks aside, which crepe was your favorite? Sweet or savory? All right, I think that reaction tells you enough. We're going with sweet. Nutella with whipped cream on the side. Now for Nutella with a little whipped cream. No? Oh, wow. This man has resistance. And that concludes our visit to the Tin Building and Pier 17. Make sure to check it out the next time you're in the South Street Seaport area. And be sure to subscribe and like to follow us along on more Bon Vivant adventures.